Okay, so what we are looking at here is the histology of a multipolar neuron. So what we have to remember is that a multipolar neuron has, of course, a soma or cell body, and then a um, one single axon extending off of that cell body, and then multiple dendrites uh, extending off of the cell body as well. So um, this is, I believe, a histology prep from a spinal cord uh, nervous tissue, but it all works the same. Um, what we have is, of course, the cell body here, this very large structure, this large um, ball type of, uh, you know, blue pigment, okay? That is your soma, your cell body. These extensions coming off that you see here and here uh, and here, there, all of these, okay? Those are your dendrites, all right? The axon, the axon is going to always be the largest extension, the fattest extension off of the soma, okay? So for this uh, multipolar neuron, for example, right here, you can see it's very wide as it extends off of the soma and it's extending out. That is your axon. Whereas here, it just comes right off. It just comes right off. Um, here, you see these dendrites coming just, you know, directly off. Right here, you see it's very large and thick as it's extending. You see it clearly here, all of these are just protruding. And then there's this huge, thick extension, okay? Another example, these are all just pulled off of um, Google Images. I typed in multipolar neuron uh, histology. Um, these are the ones that came up. I chose these because they do resemble the ones that we used in class uh, the most. But again, we have a clear example of a multipolar neuron, the soma. We have dendrites extending and then this large, very thick axon coming off. Okay. And that is how you identify the structures of a multipolar neuron.